All right, now I'm going to show you the elbow stall. Looks like that. Okay. When doing stalls with the ball anywhere on your body, you want to keep the surface of your body that is holding the ball near parallel to the floor. This is a very basic concept that is true with so many things that you balance. Your arm needs to be in a right angle to do the elbow stall. With your forearm parallel to your chest, hand and arm will be flat, and your shoulder will be down. Okay? You should feel very relaxed when you're doing this trick. If you're up here, that's bad. You need somewhere to go when you're actually balancing. So you need to be able to go down and go up to correct. While keeping your forearm and wrist straight, relax your hand, and you should see the skin falls in the point where you do the actual stall. And that's just the muscles relaxing, making it difficult for you to put a ball in. If you're having trouble with the ball falling forward, that means your arm is too slanted. So you need to try to bring it up and keep everything level. Now to solidify this, you should try moving up and down, moving left and right, moving around. Try to challenge yourself. And that's how you do the elbow stuff. Now I'll show you how to roll to an elbow stall. It looks like this. Okay. This trick will be very difficult if you don't have the stall already comfortable and solid on your elbow. In contact juggling, you'll always need a place to go if you're going to be rolling on your body. You need to be able to feel comfortable while you're rolling over certain spots or to certain spots. I see the way you start a ball in a roll, kind of like a wave. So the fingers go up, and the rest of the hand goes up, the wrist goes up, and then the elbow goes up. And then as the ball rolls to here, you go down and kind of cushion it. Okay. So it looks like that. First we'll practice just rolling straight off the edge of the arm into the hand. You start the wave in the fingers, the ball will start to roll, you point down, and then it goes off onto your receiving hand. Make sure that your forearm stays parallel to your chest. If you start to point out, then the ball will go behind you. It's a lot easier if you keep it in front of you and keep this arm flat. This turns into its own trick, and you can do the reverse of that trick also by tossing onto the elbow and down to the hand. Now to stop the ball in the elbow stall, you want to remember that elbow stall position of hand relaxed arm bent, because that's where you're going to need to be once you start the roll, you kind of turn into that position. Start the roll, relax the hand. Start the wave, relax the hand. It also helps to think of the wave as the fingers go up and the elbow goes up. The elbow going up will slow the ball and then your elbow going down will cushion it and make it want to stay in that spot. Mm -hmm.